Hi guys, thank you for joining. Welcome to this new episode of Everything Wrong with this photo mode. Well, I know, I know, I said I would do the next episode on uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, but I tried it. I did a couple of iterations. I was not happy with how it came out, so I quit <laughs> trying. And now we coming back to a totally different game because it feels to me that it's very necessary to cover this one. Today it's The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. Right, so before we dive into the game, I really want to explain just a bit of the direction of this uh, series. I'm considering to switch a bit my angle here because I started this series with the idea of covering every time a different photo mode, a different game. But I feel like it would be probably a better idea to cover features by features actually using different photo modes to illustrate my point. So expect maybe this type of change uh, in the next couple of months or I don't know, this year. I, I'm really trying to to develop a bit this uh, this YouTube channel. So please, if you, if you are not a subscriber yet, but you love virtual photography or you're interested in virtual photography, please uh, sub right now and uh, if you if you dislike this video by the end of it you can unsub. For today I will really focus on two major uh, problems that this game has and others have of course but yeah this one is more problematic for me because it's one that is super popular and super represented in the community the virtual photography community people love to take shots in this game despite the photo mode that is one of the worst I've dealt with. It's it's one I hate. Uh, I don't hate the game. I love the game, but I hate its photo mode. And I think it's a it's actually a problem because a couple of times before when I spoke with developers in charge of photo mode uh, features, they usually have about no clue of what they have to do or how to do one. So they, they look at big games, you know, the, the popular ones, and they just assume that everything that is in there is good or, you know, good enough or working or whatever. So they replicate it. And this is the major issue I have with this game. It's a very popular one and I won't be tender with it. I, I really, I'm gonna be blunt. And you might disagree with me, obviously, but I really want to people and developers to understand that there is a different way of doing this and there is a better way of doing this, uh, obviously. It, there is always a better way. Uh, even the best photo modes out there nowadays could be enhanced, could be better. Obviously, I'm not aiming for the perfect thing. It doesn't exist, but not the worst, not the worst. <laughs> so. So today we will focus on, first we will check little problems in the photo mode, like really the, the tiny ones, and then we will dive into two major problems, the camera controls and the light system. So we, we, we will try to see how it could be much better. Um, so yeah, that's the program of this episode. Also, I do have a couple of uh, anecdotes to share to explain why those changes that we all want in the virtual photography community, why they are so hard to get, why devs just don't give them to us. There, there are actual reasons for that. Um, most of them are just uh, lacks of knowledge or education on both parts actually on both parts okay i guess it's a very long intro so let's dive into it shall we all right so the last of us to remaster photo mode is the fifth or sixth iteration of this naughty dogs photo mode um they keep doing the same mistakes they they, they try to enhance some stuff which is cool but seriously though <laughs> They keep this terrible camera. Okay, so first of all, you access the photo mode by pressing the two joysticks at the same time, which is pretty cool to have a shortcut for this. So 
nothing wrong about this. You can also access it from the, uh, the pause menu. So yeah, good, good access. Then uh, you have the camera mode um, tab. We will come back to this one. We, you have the depth of field. It's, it's okay. Uh, brightness, sharpness and saturation, it's okay. Chromatic aberration, it's, it's a shame to have it to 53 uh, by default. Um, but the good thing is once you change the setting, it will it will be kept uh, in memory. So it's no big deal. Though I don't really understand why it's actually the zero position is actually the 50. 50 is no chromatic aberration. And then you go up, it's, it's stronger. Or you go down, it's stronger as well. So yeah, it's a bit weird to have this, but whatever. Film grain is to 37 here. I think it changes de depending on the location. But again, you probably want this to zero by default and then add some if you want. We cover this every time. So, but uh, yeah, it's okay. You put it to zero and then it will stay to zero. So filters, no big problem. You can hide your character. You can hide the enemies, animals or whatever, or everyone, which is really cool. This is a cool feature to have. The vignette is off by default. Good job. Logos, logos, um, you know, the usual, the usual. You can check other episodes. We talked about this before. It's a bit weird to have the position set to nine positions. I made this mistake in Mortal Shell um, photo mode. I should have made this change to like a free positioning wherever you want. And the size also. We have the same problem in Lords of the Fallen and different nowadays photo modes. The size is just too small. Who cares to have this? This is the biggest butterfly I can get. Really, we should, as usual in photo modes, we should be able to have from zero to 100%, you know, like really full screen, for example, here. Um, the light tab, the light tab, we will talk about this uh, in the second part of the video. Um, there is a light system. It's, it's, it's good to have one. This one is pretty bad to be, to me. Um, gaze direction uh, settings. One of those uh, weird stuff that you don't know if it's a bug and it's going to be fixed at some point or if it's just completely messed up. So yeah, there is this weird, I guess it's a bug. You can change only the follower person. And this is so stupid because your camera movement, and we will talk about this, is so bad that and so short that you cannot even go to the person. So it has no purpose. Um, so now, to be fair, I learned that if you aim your gun, then you have the option and you can change from the follower here it's Dina or Ellie or I guess uh, any other character you play so it makes me feel that it's a bug I don't know if it's gonna be fixed at some point or no I, let me know in the comment if it was already a problem with the previous photo modes uh, in the part one remastered or in part two before the remaster because I, I don't know about this. So anyways, you have this, you can change the, the eyes direction, which is pretty cool uh, feature if it was working properly. So, okay, now let's talk about the real big problem, which is the camera control first. So in this game, like in many other games, you have an orbital camera around your character, right? It means that uh, the camera is following your character and it turns around your character. That That's pretty normal for a gameplay phase, right? But one thing that people should really understand, uh, and uh, by people I mean people in charge of photo modes, it's, it's that the photo mode is a different game. I, I always say this and it's so true. I, I think it's really important to, to get that. Photo mode is a different game mode. Like, duh. 
So you cannot just apply the same rules that gameplay has in your photo mode. You can't. It makes no sense. It's it's like I don't know what it's like. It's it's like crazy. Okay. So you need to understand how people will use your photo mode in order to give them a gameplay in photo mode that fits the the game. The photo mode game. Am I clear here? So little story here because that's that's so infuriating to me to have these orbital cameras over and over again. It it gets better. Usual like recent photo modes just get rid of this. Not not Capcoms, not Naughty Dogs. Okay. So I asked the person with whom I worked on this loop photo mode, right? We were a, a small team and he was the, the leader of the team. And I was interacting with him and the producer to, to give my advices and consulting. While we were working together, I noticed that he didn't know anything about virtual photography, obviously, or what we would need as a virtual photographers, right? The one, one problem we had was the, the camera controls, of course. So I asked for a free cam, okay? not orbital cam, free cam. The other thing was the camera range. So camera range is not free cam, right? Camera range is how far your camera will be able to go uh, from your character, from your starting point, if you will. Okay, we had those discussions and um, I, I learned, by the way, last week that the game director, this loop game director, was not happy with the idea of putting a very very long range because you know it's um it's giving too much of the game to the player at the time it's not supposed to be seen all right so it's actually the exact same problem that i just said two different modes gameplay and photo mode gameplay and it's it makes sense that the game director or game developer teams don't want to give away stuff that your character is not supposed to to see before he sees it you know it, it can have a lot of different reasons like um a surprise effect or enemy's position or you know anything so we as virtual photographers complaining about this uh, camera range and me i'm the first i'm i'm guilty of it we need to still understand this and we need to still accept that uh, the game is primarily made for gamers, not virtual photographers. So I really understand this limitation and this problem. Okay, now I, I would always advocate for the opposite and give the, the maximum range, you know me, but I understand. Okay, so yesterday, uh, not yesterday, sorry. So last week I was asking this guy with whom I worked on this loop. I was asking him specifically, how long would it take to a team to change from orbital camera to free cam camera, free cam, sorry, in a game that is already done. Like I was specifically thinking about The Last of Us, right? So everything is done, all the work is done, the photo mode exists for years and um, how long would it be to just unlock the camera and make it a camera, a free cam? Again, not talking about range here. Now I'm talking about camera movement, even with a, a small range. And he said, first he said, well, it really depends on a lot of things, but probably a couple of days, time to check everything and... Uh, um every problem that could be rising up from this and stuff so and i understood in the answer that he was thinking about camera range and not free cam so it it told me again that there is a, a big misconception here between both so i i i, I said no, no, no like okay i get this but Really just having a short range and not the problem of texture loading or whatever, but just being able to move the camera differently. And then the answer was, yeah, you know, there is no real reason to not do it. 
and there is no real difficulty to change from one to the other. So that that's what makes me the most infuriated against this specific photo mode. I don't have a personal connection. I asked for two different guys uh, I'm connected to. I don't have an entry with Naughty Dogs whatsoever. So there is no way I'm able to to work with them. And, and again, another misconception that we have as users, usually on Twitter and stuff, we, we think that because we tweeted a couple of times about it, they, they would know or whatever, but it doesn't work like this. The people we are engaging with on social medias, they are not the ones making the game. Like, and even when they are, you know, it's, it's so different words and it's a lot of education we have to, to do for them to be able to understand. Anyways, all this to say that please put a free camera in your uh, photo mode. You cannot just keep the game camera. That doesn't work because in a photo mode we need to move differently. We are not the character. We are the photographer. We are outside of the, f the character and we need to check every details in the game. All right. So this I, I've been saying a lot and I will say it again a lot, a lot, a lot. So now demonstration of why it's so bad. Let's check this. So you move your camera. You can move it like this, like sideways. So that's about it. That's the, the round you have. And you can move around your character. So you can see now that I'm just moving right or left. That's right. That's left. All right. So what if I want to go to put my camera in front of my character and to just check on the, the horse? You know, I can't. I cannot. So what I want with the free cam is to be able to move my camera like this i mean this is just a zoom that i just did and i'm already at max i cannot zoom on the horse i mean i could with the field of view but that's not the point i am talking about camera placement now so the the orbital camera forbid you to do this okay to to go in front of your character to go past the character and go uh in front of it uh, them so it's unacceptable in the game. It's really unacceptable. Other problem is the in this game is how you zoom in, zoom out, or you go further or closer to your character. So it's the triggers. The, the left trigger will put your camera closer and right trigger will put your camera away from your character. All right, so that's a weird button mapping. And if you want, it's usually crane stuff. So it's usually this up and down or on the triggers. It, it should be normal now, but whatever. In this game, it's still an old weird way. And uh, if you want to go up or down, you need to push your sticker, your left stick sticker, your left stick up and down. So it's an, that would be the opposite usually. Uh, in most photo modes and that's definitely what I would recommend is the opposite but okay once you get to it and you get used to it I mean why not the big problem you have in this game is the collision with the environment so which is again pretty standard it's really rare that you you see a photo mode that will allow you to go through the walls and stuff like this but it's actually a necessary stuff but yeah the uh, a Plague Tale Requiem did this, and this this was the best surprise I had last year. If you if you move your camera around and let's say you try to go a bit uh, further your character, you try to see how far you can go. All right, so you press your left trigger, and if you have the space, I mean your camera will go there, and it's cool. Okay, and okay, let's try to find the the biggest angle we can i think i uh, know okay it's so confusing oh wow everything is so confusing okay so i guess i'm as far as possible right now but you know i cannot even sh be sure because it moves by itself i don't touch anything and it moves so once you are as far as this 
and then you want to move your camera again it's still tightened to your character so if you go around like this okay your camera will bump on everything so now i'm super close and i'm not, not touching anything look at this so i'm here not touching anything right i'm just moving just a bit past the on the right just a bit and then my camera i'm not touching anything you can watch this in replay uh the camera is moving by itself so yeah, okay, big deal, big boy, are you thinking? It's okay, you just have to wait that the camera just stabilize and stay where it is. But no, 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 you shouldn't have to wait for this because it's so confusing, uh, especially when you try to move uh, against different... Well, I can go for... Oh, f me, look at this. Against the wall or you don't, you don't know what's behind you. I don't know what's behind the camera right now. So I have every chance to just hit everything. My camera will bump in every direction and I will have no clue how to stop it. How, how can you think it's a good way for people to take pictures? How would you and your team, I'm talking to you, Neil Druckmann, <laughs> the guy getting carried away. I, no, seriously, I mean, if your marketing department had to use your photo mode to make the, the marketing uh, assets, they would quit. They would, they, they would quit the, the position. All right. It, it drives you crazy to have this kind of camera control. That is no control. No one is controlling this camera. <laughs> Not even it moves by itself. You have no clue how to get closer and now I'm I'm trying to get closer. Look at this. Okay. So I'm as far as I can. Okay. And then I'm gonna press my left bumper to go uh, closer to El Ellie. Okay? Look at this. I'm starting right now. What was that? There was uh, a period of time it was not moving. Then it was moving super slow. Then it hit the couch. Then it went on the floor. How? Right? You, you, you... No. <laughs> I have no words. I have no words anymore for this type of sh**. <sighs> Boy. Alright, so... Basically, you got my point. I, I hope you enjoy the rant and that uh, I'm a bit pushing over the edge. Or all, all right, I know, I know, I exaggerate a lot. I'm French, guys. Okay, but still, still, it's a big problem. It's a very big problem because it impacts everything you do in this photo mode. Every single second of your experience in the photo mode will be impacted by this, and in a bad way you will be frustrated a lot, okay? So that's not something you want. Does people still manage to take a lot of shots? Yes. Now listen to me. The, the biggest problem I have with this when I play this game and try to shoot it is how many dead shots there are out there. It's not the matter that people will still manage to take one shot. To take this shot, they will have to leave behind a hundred other ones. So the creativity, I mean, you can see amazing creative people out there shooting this game. Uh, photo in-game, uh, if you don't know them because they are two guys, I think. Um, they are killing it with this game. But that's not thanks to the photo mode. That's thanks to their amazing skills, all right? So yes, it's possible to have fun. Uh, mm, have fun, I don't think so, honestly, but it's possible to get cool shots. But at what price? At the price of hundreds of shots unborn. So now, if I want to, to take, for instance, look at this cool little step in the snow down there, right? I want this detail shot. I want it. So, okay, how can I make it? 
<laughs> well, you have to 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 have a, a PhD in in camera movements, I guess, to to get there. So you try to go as close as possible of your, of your character, okay? But remember, you cannot pass beyond her. So that's as far as I can go, right? So okay, field of view. I guess I can get the field of view. Mm, okay, that's how much I can get. That's not enough. I would like to have a bottom, a top bottom shot. So you need to exit the photo mode. You need to go closer. Try to not make another step in the snow or it will kill this. Okay, now you reopen your photo mode. You can uh, probably disable, find the tab where hide characters. Okay, so you hide your character. You go as close as you can, which is this. You again play with the field of view. Oh, you don't have a top angle. You cannot have the perfect angle because the camera, for some reason, prevent you from doing this. So okay, or oh, you can go. Okay, now I'm lowering the camera like uh, on the crane level, and it goes there. So I guess it's okay. Um, you need to center your shot. Okay, texture is bad. Oh, whatever. This shot is not worth it. I lost five minutes of my fucking time. That's that's the thing. Okay. Now you have a you have a free camera. You just open your photo mode. You see this. You go there. I cannot do this, but imagine I just go there. You look down and you're like, ah, oh, nah, not good enough. Done. Five seconds. Do you have any idea how many time it it saves when you shoot a game for a, a, a 30 hours game? You will shoot it if you're shooting the whole story. You will spend hundreds of hours in the photo mode. Like, really? I'm this is not exaggerated. So imagine how many times you will have saved how many seconds and minutes and hours you will save if you just have a freaking free cam ah. all right <laughs> let's move on to the second big problem to me which is the the light feature it will be quicker so light feature uh, major problem is wait let me try to find an angle that goes close to my character. Okay, major problem is the, in the light feature is, and I've seen this said a lot, and I totally agree with this. It's too weak. So again, will will this be patched? Is this a bug? I don't know, but it's really weak. So let's try to use um, and again the control of the spotlight is also problematic. So you have two modes that you can see down there with the pad, the touchpad. You have the orbit mode and the camera will move orbitally. Uh, why? Why? Uh, I want to uh, put a light on uh, something else than Ellie. Is it possible? No, it's not. Um, it's possible, but again, you will have to work hard. So, yeah, we'll talk about this in a minute. So you move your camera orbitally and then you touch your press pad and then with the same controller, the same stick, it will uh, be um, a rotation mode. I don't think this is convenient. I think you can get used to it, uh, but I really think it's inconvenient. You should have your control of your spotlight just like uh, a, a new character. So left stick to move around or whatever I had right right stick to move the, the 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 angle of it as you would move the head of your character so that would be much more intuitive because we are used to this type of control so now in this photo mode game we are a spotlight we became a spotlight so to move it around with two different uh, settings on the same stick it's really not it's not great. Uh, okay, 
you, you can work with it, I guess. Then you have the distance thing. So you can put your, your spotlight closer or further your, your subject. Which is okay, I don't really understand why it's so... It's not moving. Okay, yeah, you have the maximum as well right here. I didn't even know that. So yeah, now the door is blocking my spotlight anyway. So, and I don't really understand why it's so... The, the, the difference between each grade, uh, between one and two is so big. Um, I wish I could place it with much more freedom. So again, you just open a, a, a light mode and then you control your, your spotlight as you would control a character. That, that would be the best. And by the way, it would save the position of your composition because you don't put your light before you work on your composition. You put them after. So you need to keep in mind your composition and your camera position and then most of the time you don't even see the spotlight in this game. You don't know where they are, so you need to break your composition, find the spotlight, go back in. Uh, it's... it's... It's awful. It's awful. Okay, so once you have your camera distance set, you move your position. You, it's okay. You can work with it. But um, did did they already patch the the intensity? Because it's yeah, it's it's okay. But whatever. Intensity of the light. Uh, it's too weak for now. Um, I mean, right now I don't see really the problem. But I've seen it a lot. So I I'm not sure if they patched it or if. But still, it should you should be able to have much more. Uh, much more spam of the the settings so you can go to zero does it really put it to zero yeah kind of I guess nah not really though no not even the intensity to zero is not zero so this is another problem I have with the spider-man one which is I don't know what they did but the spider-man 2 light system is worse than before so just give the full zero, the actual zero, no light, to maximum brightness. Like, it would burn the character if it was a real character. Give us this. We need this. So, yeah, intensity. I mean, right now it's okay. Because it, maybe it's because I'm inside something. I think outside is pretty weak. But whatever. The spread stuff. I mean, the other... It's not that bad, the, the, the settings that are here, the features are okay, but we could have much more, much more um, complete system of light. The distance, especially distance is really weird. Uh, I don't, I don't like it. And again, again, same problem as before. Uh, well, okay, the color thing is really cool. No, no, no problem here. You can change it pretty easily. You can even change it uh, like this. That, that's pretty cool. This is okay. This is much more than okay. It's perfect. But the, again, uh, spotlight positioning, spotlight control, it's, it's really weird. Um, you have three lights possible. Okay, sometimes it's a bit confusing to know if, you, if they are... If oh, f I did a, did it again, I wanted to turn the spotlight and I turned the camera instead. So, oh yeah, you have a little arrow that's uh, appearing, but yeah, it's not really just. It's weird. It's weird. It's not easy to understand. So, best way. Oh yeah, you know. Look at this. It's a mess. It's a mess. Best way to do this would be to again just enter a different mode. So you freeze the, the camera position uh, because you don't, you probably don't, don't need it anymore. Or you give the possibility as Jedi Survivor did to save a camera position. That would be the best. And then you open the, the light mode and you can put as many lights as you want. What, what's up with this three lights? I mean, yeah, again, for a portrait, a three light system is usually enough. But we are not in a portrait mode. We are in a photo mode and we want to uh, control 
everything. I want to be able to put a light on every element in this room if I want. I want to redo the whole room lighting. We can do this on PC. We can do this with UUU and it's, it's the best. We need this and it's doable. Don't, don't give me your arm, but on console it's not possible. No, it is. It is. So separate modes, separate thinking process, separate gameplays. I think that's it for today. Uh, it's a long enough episode with a lot of rants and <laughs> it feels good. It feels good. Um, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I have a lot of different content coming up if you don't like this one, but well, if you're still here, I guess you kind of enjoyed something. But uh, I will start a new uh, season of Explain That Shot real soon, like in a few days. So subscribe if, and check out the, the playlist if you don't know what it is. And the teaser, I have a new teaser about this. And uh, I will make uh, different photo mode reviews uh, pretty soon, I guess. Probably Banishers. Banishers is coming up real soon. I might even get my hands on it before release, like this week, uh, hopefully. I was hoping for last week, but it didn't come yet. So yeah, let's, oh, I'm so excited about it. So uh, Banishers photo mode review probably coming up soon. And uh, yeah, give me your comments on... Uh, let me know what you think about this idea of changing the, um, uh, the the angle of this series and maybe just focus more on one feature. I might even redo an episode about this specific orbital cam and, and light system, you know, using different games to showcase what's best or even PC tools that we have. Uh, I, that was my plan today, but it ended up too long already, so I'm not going to do this now. But yeah, maybe just focusing on, on features instead of uh, game photo modes one per one. Let me know what you think about this. Now, and as usual, let's finish this episode with a little shot uh, in this place. Yeah, let's do this. All right, that's it for today, and uh, whew, that was a complicated shot to get, as expected. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video, and in the meantime, keep snapping.